we work really closely with um, several journals. So uh, we've brought online um, the cell press journals recently. So if you're already going to be applying um, uh, to get your manuscript published in cell or cell systems or any of the other cell journals, um, then uh, what the um, editors will do on acceptance is they will ask you to put in the RRIDs. Um, many people already do this before um, before they start the process, but if you're working with one of the journals that you know already direct authors to um, to our website, you will have to do this. Um, if you're working with a, another journal, you could do this yourself. So it doesn't mean, if, if a journal doesn't have this as a requirement, you can still do it. Um, we're in the instructions to authors of many, many, many more journals, um, you know, many more than just the cell press. Um, but, you know, uh, you can do this even if we're, you're not in the instructions to authors for a particular journal. We've had very, very few journals say, no, you shouldn't do this, because they all kind of recognize, hey, this is a better way to do this than even if we don't have you in the instructions to authors. This is a better way to identify these research resources compared to, you know, saying that uh, a particular vendor is in, uh, you know, Charlotte, North Carolina, right? Because that piece of information is actually kind of useless. So instead of Charlotte, North Carolina, or, you know, Hong Kong, or whatever, that piece of information can just be replaced by the catalog number and the RRID. That way you can track that reagent instead of trying to figure out where the company is located, which is very useless <laughs> these days when they're all like located on the on the internet